This video will create a Docker container for a .NET project and will push that project to AWS, Google Cloud and Azure. So let's get started. First, in this uh, web API, I will make uh, just a small change. I will remove this uh, controller here and uh, the route will be uh, the empty route and uh, our app will simply return the default uh, weather so that is not important what is important is to create a new docker file so new file docker file so make sure also to have installed docker in your machine and let's start with uh, from uh, we need uh, the image that we want to start so I will uh, write Microsoft uh, container registry uh, Microsoft dot com slash dot net slash SDK so we'll start with the version 5 so uh, this is uh, the a container that uh, will start and it will have have uh, the SDK already installed in this container and uh, I will name it as build so this will be a multi-stage docker build and uh, I will explain it later why I name it like this so let's start with uh, the working directory I'll name it up so uh, uh, we you can specify whatever folder that you want I will name it like this and here we'll copy the uh, C-sharp project so all dot C-sharp uh, project so like this and we will copy to the working directory so uh, this project will be copied to this dot means this working directory and uh, after it's copied we run the command dot net restore after we run the com ra that command we will copy all in that folder again so this will get all the files here and it will copy to the working directory and after we copied all the files we need to publish uh, to a DLL so to to do it we run the command run dot net publish uh, we need to specify release and uh, it will, the output will be in the out folder and that's it for the first stage so uh, let's run this command in our uh, local machine to see what this does generate so if we run this command we will uh, get uh, an out folder here where we will have a lot of files uh, the one that uh, we are interested in is uh, this uh, .NET docker dll so uh, we're interested only in this file and we can ignore all the other files that's why we use now a multi-stage build because uh, this will contain all the files and also the output but uh, this other container that we will build now so from uh, I'll copy this .NET and uh, we will specify AS ASP.NET here this other container will have the same working directory uh, but don't confuse this working directory with this one because there are different containers and uh, we will copy from the build so from this build we'll copy up which is the working directory there out so we'll copy everything in the out folder to this dot which is this working directory so we, will, we created another container with only the out folder so it is a smaller one and uh, what is left is to add an entry point 
dot net and we will execute dot net docker dll and that's it so in the end we have a lighter docker container which is just a dll so we can execute it so uh, we finished with uh, this uh, docker file let's build it so to build a docker file run docker build and uh, we want to specify a name for this docker build and uh, we can specify a name by adding minus t up uh, that is the name that we want to build and uh, we will add the context which is a dot so this will execute this docker file so it's building let's wait till it's completed so the container has been built and now we it is ready to be pushed to the cloud but before let's test it on our browser to test it on our browser we have to run uh, this uh, container uh, we need to specify the port so inside of the container the port is 80 but uh, in our local host we can put whatever port we want i'll put 8888 and the name of uh, our container was up so let's run this and uh, it's successfully running now so if we open our browser and uh, write here localhost port 8888 we can see this is a json that uh, is returning this uh, weather forecast so it's working fine so this uh, container has been built and now we need to push it to the cloud i will close also this uh, ide because we don't need it anymore so i'm logged into my google cloud platform now and uh, we will we will use two uh, services container registry and cloud run so let's go to the container registry and uh, before adding uh, anything here we need uh, to install a google cloud sdk so make sure to download the right installer for mac os you download it here also for windows and linux and also make sure to add it to your path once it is completed you can use G cloud so uh, i ho already have uh, my G cloud configured and now uh, let's uh, uh, log in first so in order to push containers to the google cloud registry we have to be logged in first so G cloud auth login so uh, this uh, will uh, connect with our google cloud account and uh, we will allow everything and uh, now we are logged in if we go to our uh, terminal we will see this so i'll clear now and uh, now we can uh, push our image to the docker uh, registry to the container registry sorry so first we have to tag the image so docker tag the name of the image is up and uh, we will tag it to Google Cloud Registry, so gcr.io slash, we need the project name. So if we go to our cloud platform, click uh, our project here, and uh, this is my project name. So I'll copy this ID here, and uh, I will add it here. So this is our project ID, and then uh, we need the name of uh, our container so this should be the same with uh, the last one i tagged this and then we need to push it so i'll remove this and we'll push it and this will push the container to our google cloud platform so let's wait till it's completed so the image is pushed now uh, we will see the image here so in the container registry we have our app image and uh, let's go here and let's copy the url so i'll copy the url here because uh, we will need it and uh, let's go to now to 
the cloud run. So here we need to create a service. We need the service name. I'll call it app. Uh, the region, you can select your own region. Uh, we need the container image URL. So here we can select it directly. And this is the container, the last container that we pushed. So I'll select this. And this was uh, our container. We can add some advanced settings here, like variable secrets, etc. But the only thing that we will change is uh, the port. So our container port is 80. So I'll put 80 here. And we don't need to change anything else there. Next. So uh, we need to allow an uh, unauthenticated invocations. So this is public. And that's it. So let's create this. And let's wait till it's completed. So it should be fast. So it is completed. Not sure why I made a mistake here. Uh, the port was 76 here. It should be 80. And uh, we have uh, also a URL here. If we go to the URL, we will see our app deployed. So it was this simple. This is how we deploy an app to the Google Cloud Run. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.